Anyway, so let's see. Uh, three pound of ground beef. Uh, some seasoned kidney beans. What else? Whole tomatoes. Gra you have to grate the onions. Gray oh, grate the onions. Um, you cook it for about uh, two, three hours. Then you put the potatoes in. You cook it for another three hours. You put it in the refrigerator. You get it out the next day. You scoop off the fat. You have the best chili you will ever have in your freaking life. I guarantee it. I need a weapon. He speaks, you know, in a very, in a very soft spoken way. And it's very, you know, I have to go, it's not a natural speaking voice. And I have to go very, you sort of go very down into myself to do it. And it's okay when we're in the booth and the mic is right here and you're bringing this character, you know, into this, the, you know, it, 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 you know, it's almost like I'm talking um, to myself in a way. So anyway, the, uh, Lizzie and I both do uh, commercial voiceover, and down here is our modest little, what we call whisper room, uh, soundproof booth in here, little mixing board, a couple of mics, and uh, gone in there and uh, you know done uh, done some uh, some little master chief and that kind of thing. Um, this is the Halo script. This is for Halo 3, recorded uh, February 6, 2007. The actual, when we actually did the real recording, it was done at a, at a, at a studio in downtown Chicago called uh, Resolution Digital, but uh, some of the practicing that I did was right here in our, in our own basement. And um, that's where the magic happens. Wait, leave her alone. I said, leave her alone. On Halo, you tried to kill Cortana. You tried to kill me. It's like that. When we, uh, when we were sitting down to do Halo 1, uh, you know, we had a, you know, as, as I guess you always do when you're in any, any kind of acting situation, is like, who is the character? You know, what's the line about, you know, who am I in this? And Marty sat me down and we talked about who Master Chief was. You know, he's this super soldier, a super Spartan. Um, he's, he's a man who doesn't speak much. Um, he, you know, the, the picture that Marty painted for me and the one that I sort of latched onto and have held onto was this Clint Eastwood uh, fistful of dollars kind of guy. Do you feel lucky, punk? Uh, so anyway, the point was that you know, after we did the first session, I think it was a two-day, two or three-day session. That was the end of it. I never heard anything more about it because I didn't, I, I wasn't in the in the world, so you know, I didn't really know anything about it. And uh, it wasn't for a year. A year went by, and uh, until I realized how monumental this game was. Hello. Uh, can I ask, what's this regarding? Uh, she's not here, thank you. Master Chief blowing off a telemarketer. I don't, I don't know what to make of it. And, I, and, I, and there's always this sense of, you know, I can do the radio thing. When I go out and do a radio thing, I, can, I know who that guy, I know who that persona is. And I can play it, I know how to play it. I've played it for years and years and years. I know what people expect, I know what to give them. Everybody walks away happy. With the Master Chief thing, I don't, you know. I'll find Cortana's solution and I'll bring it back. It's like that. Oh, here's, look, he's got a whole page of lines here. <laughs> Master Chief says, that's our galaxy. We're beyond the rim. And he turns to Gildy Spark and he goes, what is this place? Gildy Spark says, it's the Ark. The Ark! This is the Ark? Anyway, so Gildy Spark going back and forth, you know, sort of relating this thing. And when you take it out of context, of course, it sounds really stupid. Do you play the video game? Very, very badly. Um, I, uh, 
uh, not too long ago, uh, uh, my wife and I went down to Miami. Uh, we were asked to, to make an appearance uh, for a, a store opening in Miami Beach. Well, sure enough, we get down there, <clears throat> crowds of people, all that stuff, and they're, they're having a Halo tournament, and unbeknownst to me, the winner, what he won was the opportunity to play Master Chief in Halo. So I said, I, 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 this is not good, we can't do this. And he goes, no, 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 it'll be all right. We're gonna put this on a setting where you can't be killed. They, they will, you, all you have to do is just hold the control, just do anything, they won't be able to kill you. I said, all right, so I, we sit down, group, big screen TVs, the whole nine yards. We weren't playing the game 10 seconds, this 12 year old girl wipes me off the face of the earth. <laughs> And it was a little embarrassing. I hopefully bring something to the character to help flesh him out a little bit, to give him a voice, you know, literally as well as figuratively. Um, when you're holding those controls in your hand, you're Master Chief. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll lend a voice to him, but you decide, I mean, after all, you decide whether he lives or dies. I don't make that call. So, uh, and when I do make that call, Master Chief don't make it very far. My involvement in the game is, is to advance the story, is to help advance the story and give him a little, some character, give him a voice. Uh, I think the game would be, I mean, the story part of the game would be very boring if you never heard anything from him. You guys play the game, you play it the best you can, and I'll, I'll do the talking. I'll do the talking, you guys do the shooting, and you know, hopefully it will be, uh, it'll be fun for everybody. Thank you.